Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Tisha. I'm so excited that you clicked on this video today. So I'm very excited to bring you this video. It's going to be the technically second, but really first deep dive into a candle brand showcase. I think that's kind of what I'm going to call them. Um, we all have our favorite candle companies, ones that are much more accessible to us or big name, huge advertisements. Um, you know, those big stores that we don't really, you know, get to know the brand. You don't get to know the reason behind, you know, why they started their brand or, you know, the, you don't get to meet the people that make your candles. And I think that's kind of cool. So I figured like once a month for a little while, and you'll have to let me know down below if you like this style of video, I would do a little research on a candle brand as like a small business owned by, you know, a small team or one person and just highlight their products and talk to you guys about where you can get them, what I'm going to be trying, and then come back and make it a full video on how they performed. Um, so this part of the video I'm filming ahead of trying the products just so I could show them to you when they look nice and new, talk a little bit about the brand, and also, you know, give you price point and scent notes and all that stuff. And then I will come back looking a little bit different, maybe cuter, let's hope, um, and talk about how they performed. So. I'm just filming this first half now so I can show you all the goodies I got and talk about the brand. So we'll just jump right into it. Today's brand, my first real <clears throat> showcase is for the Adulting Candle Company. And I have a couple of other brands that I've already ordered a candle and I'll, I'll be doing those soon. But this one jumped quickly to the top of my list because um, the owner, Shawna Moreno, um, she quickly replied to me, I, or I made a candle order. And then I sent an email <clears throat> through her Etsy shop just saying, hey, can you tell me a little bit about your brand? Would you mind if I made a video? And she was like so excited about it, very professional and like asked me any questions you have, gave me a little background on her brand. And I just thought that was so much fun. And honestly, you guys, like I was up front with her. I was like, I have, you know, a small little subscriber base, which is cool. I love all you guys. I'm not complaining. But usually when you don't have a big presence, they're not really wanting to you know, I mean, usually like give you much time a day. You, they want you to get a little bigger so that it really is worth their time. But she didn't care. She did not care at all. Um, she gave me a lot of information. She's left the link open for us to have, you know, talk. Once I got my stuff, she sent me a message saying, oh, looks like you got your order. Did everything come okay? Like, when does that really happen? I order on Etsy all the time and I don't usually have those business owners contacting me to see if I liked everything. She's, you know, she reached right out when it's, you know, her side of the shipping so that I gotten everything. I just thought it was a great experience overall. So I wanted to share that with you guys, share a little bit about her company and, you know, what it stands for and all the products and give you a little rundown of what I got. I did already kind of haul them the day I got them. I was pretty excited, but I really wanted to dive into the scent notes and just the experience overall. So we're just going to jump into it. And I am going to read a little bit from my notes just because again, I want to make sure I give you guys everything that I found out so that you can really make a decision on whether you want to shop small business sometimes with your, you know, keeping these people running and like, especially starting during this last year where we had so many small businesses close because they couldn't keep afloat. It really isn't a bad idea to just kind of set yourself a goal to do that every once in a while. You know, just like I said, my $20 could go to like someone, you know, with her backstory or Bath and Body Works, they're not going to miss my $20. But anyway, that was my whole thought process behind this. So please let me know down below if you like it and I'll keep doing it because I have found a couple other brands that sound really cool. But back to Shauna's brand. So Adulting Candle Company, I'll link all of her socials down below. Um, she has an Instagram, she has an Etsy shop and a website. Um, so that's where you can find all her products and all the information that pretty much she gave me, you can find there too. So you can definitely do your own research before you spend your money. Um, so a little info on the brand. Um, so as I spoke with her through Etsy messages, I didn't want to like make it seem like we had a call or anything and emails. She was so kind and she was just loved sharing and talking about her company. You could, you could tell from reading her email, she was excited to talk about it. So, um, she said, adulting is a work in progress, which we all have felt that I'm sure. And um, she said she spent 20 years in the liquor industry and, you know, about 15 or so um, in the, so she supercharged her skills in mixology expertise and experience, which I think, um, I don't know, that was one of my dreams. It's so funny. That's why I mean, like I got excited when I met her. I was kind of wanted to be a bartender. I thought that would be the coolest job. I know that sounds kind of weird, probably, but just they really do that. That's a creative creativity. Like 
mixing things and making them actually come out into new drinks or taste really good and you know not make people sick that's a that's a gift so she used that expertise and that time to perfect how she's mixing her scents for her candles and i just thought that was so cool um so her passion to create products and start her business was fueled by the, the need she saw for some natural life enhancing products that can be passed down from generation to generation. She does have some things I did not try. I did stick to the candles and the wax melts, but she has some um, wax burners, some reed diffusers, uh, but we're gonna talk about the containers and the packaging and everything and how it's very um, recyclable, reusable. So I thought that was really cool. And it's kind of a part of her brand. So <clears throat> um, you'll have to watch on her Instagram. She has these like, two times speed or just like a sped up process. I'm not sure what that's actually called, where she shows you the order process, basically from start to finish. She makes a bunch of orders. She shows you how your actual products are being made. And I know from experience, she made my products the day that I ordered and shipped them out. I had them in a couple of days. And there was a note with my candle that said, oh, please wait till Friday or after so this candle can completely cure before you light it. It will give you the best experience. And I was like, that's so cool. So my candle was made the day I ordered it. It wasn't sitting on a shelf somewhere. And I just, I, I think that's kind of neat. I, I'm not sure how someone in a small business can, you know, make products like that just, you know, as they come because you see her make this massive amount of products. So you'd think they'd be just sitting on a shelf and they'd pick them out and put them in a box and sh ship them out to you. But everything was freshly poured. You could just tell. So I thought that was really cool. Um, and I just think those videos are really cool to watch. So I highly recommend you checking out her Instagram. Um, leave a little note, let her know that I sent you there and watch those videos. It's like visual ASMR, you know, she's just working so fast. And then like in, you know, seven minutes, you've watched the whole process of the day. I just think it's the coolest thing. Um, so also she said in her notes that all her packaging comes free of advertising so that you can reuse it. So one thing I thought that was pretty cool, um, you know, here's my candle that I got and it didn't have any logos on it. It, you know, basically just the safety logo, but I can repurpose this cute little jar and do other things with it. So it doesn't have to go in the trash. Um, so all of her products that apparently come that way. So they're not just branded with Adulting Candle Company. And she does it so that it really does encourage you to repurpose instead of just, you know, make waste. So I just thought that was really um, forward thinking. In my little notes here that I got with my order receipt, she gave me something for how to specifically care for my Woodwick candle. And then I thought it was so cute. There's a little, um, of course they fell out in the bottom of the box. These little recycle things. I don't know. Let's see. I got a bunch of stuff here. Yeah, there's just these little like recycle things and it's just kind of like I said it's a part of her brand so um you know she's really encouraging you to keep taking care of our planet because it's our job and um everything that she sends you is 100% recyclable so like it's encouraged and I just thought that was really cool so she also shared that she was a single mom of three who worked multiple jobs I think she said three jobs just to make ends meet and so a part of her um message and her candle company is that she, um, you know, being a single mom myself, I know I've had to work a couple jobs to make ends meet, um, you know, and then you're taking time away from your, your children. It's just a really tough decision. And so it really, I don't know, that just touched my heart that she shared that. And, you know, that's part of the adulting candle company. They donate um, profits to families in need. So, I mean, for being a small business, I thought that was really cool. And she says, time to do some adulting. So I thought that was really cool. She's not only just having success and, you know, just, you know, not having to work those three jobs anymore. She's already giving back because she knows that where people come from. And all of this information is listed on her webpage. So again, <clears throat> she shared it with me and then I went ahead and did some research myself and I found all this stuff and I just thought it was really cool. And I just, I don't know, like I said, you know, the drive in moms to work multiple jobs and still want to produce these tiny little good humans, uh, you know, moms and dads, it, it's the toughest, most rewarding job that we will ever have. And it doesn't matter if you love or hate what you do for a living for a paycheck, you really do the world some good when you raise your good kids. So that's another reason I just kind of fell in love with her company. I thought, wow, you're giving back and you're a small business. That's so amazing. So let's talk about the products I got. So um, uh, so the products that she has on her website are candles, wax melts, tea lights, 
reed diffusers, some like uh, wax warmers. She does some, uh, some, I didn't really do a deep dive into this stuff. I just, I didn't really, that was what I was looking for. But she has some stones and some really cool other things like that. Um, and that might be that passing down from generation to generation, I thought maybe it's the stones and the chakras and the, those types of things. Again, I just didn't do enough research on that stuff. Um, I'm just sticking to candles for right now. But um, yeah, so she uses natural organic ingredients of soy, coconut, and natural blended waxes. And I'll show you my candle in a second. It looks really cool. It's got a natural fruit tree wick, wood wick, and her tea lights have cotton wicks. Um, the packaging is 100% recyclable and eco-friendly. Eco -friendly. Eco -friendly. Um, and that she said, like, you know, the packaging, the being free of advertisement, all of everything kind of comes with the purpose that you are going to recycle it and, you know, take care of the earth because I just thought that was cool. She says priority. So yeah, another adulting thing we have to do, right? Um, so she does on her website and then, like I said, it came with this little card, which I thought was really nice. Um, and she says, you know, reach out if you have any questions about it. So it tells you, you know, burn your candle for a minimum of two to three hours when you first light your candle. Soy wax, soy wax has a memory and it will need to achieve a full melt pool the first time you light it. This will help prevent tunneling and drowning your wick. So that I just thought was really good to share because again, it's just another step. It's just another I don't know, you know, in case you didn't know that, it's so important for them to share it. She wasn't just selling me a product. She wanted me to know how to care for it so that I got the best experience. I just thought that was really cool. So it talks about trimming your wicks <clears throat> and then, you know, which we do know, but in case you didn't, it does make a difference. And then she also shared just that you, so you didn't feel like you got a dud. <clears throat> Woodwicks have a gentle crackle and a unique flicker, which I'd heard of. I've never had one though. So I'm excited to see what this experience will be like. Um, but so she said to, you know, it, it kind of adds to the ambience of the candle, the, the unique flicker, the unique crackle. Um, and then she does have a return policy that's located <clears throat> on her uh, sale webpage. I'll let you read. But I also just wanted to point that out because I think that's phenomenal for a small business to have a return policy. They want you to be satisfied. So maybe not the personalized items. And I didn't really include too many notes for this video, but it's on there. So again, you can read it before you order and then really know. Um, also, like I said, just before I get into the scent notes and the prices of everything, um, everything that I ordered, I was able to kind of personalize, meaning she offers like a sample pack of tea lights and I was able to pick all six of these. So I didn't have to pick something that she already had, um, you know, pre put together in a package. Like she was pouring these as she was um, fulfilling my order. So I thought that was pretty cool. And then I got some wax melts that were actually in a four pack just cause it saved me a couple dollars, but you can also reach out in the notes section on Etsy and ask her because if she's making them as you know, if you're ordering them, then, you know, she's probably going to be very accommodating and she was very accommodating with me. So let's quickly go through, cause like I said, this is only going to be half the video Then I have to come back and talk to you about how it went. Um, let's go through what I got. Um, so I ordered six tea lights myself and she sent a couple. She told me when I thanked her, cause I was like, Oh gosh, you know, don't send me free product. That wasn't why I was reaching out. I just wanted to have as much information about your brand as possible. She's like, no, I do that all the time. I just send a few of my favorites so that you get to try more. Um, so the six tea lights that I chose came in this box and I picked mimosa, hard candy, student debt, coffee cake therapy, sweet rainbow and pumpkin spice latte. There were a ton of scents. I wish I would have wrote that down somewhere. I was thinking like over 50 cents to choose from. And then I want to read you guys the scent notes. So we're going to go in order. I think this is, yeah. So this is student debt. It's a black wax um, with a cotton wick. And I have a couple of tea light holders. I'm going to just start burning these, but I wanted to show them to you as I got them. So here's student debt and it is described as Notes of teakwood, jasmine, ozone, leather, cedar, patchouli, sandalwood, and tonka bean. So that is, and it's really, it smells like a men's cologne I to me. Um, teakwood does always smell like a men's cologne. Um, I can smell the sandalwood. I can smell the patchouli. <clears throat> so it smells good. I was interested. It was curious. Like the, when I was looking at the scent notes, I was curious. So 
it's full it's got a full scent and there's a, a quite a range there of scents and then the ozone kind of i feel like i can smell that i don't quite know what that is but there is something to this that seems earthy so that is student debt then i got mimosa which is this bright yellow and she has these listed as well on both instagram and in her etsy shop and mimosa is described as Notes of orange, citrus, basil, orange peel, mint leaves, chamomile, agave nectar, tomato leaf, lemon mint, spearmint, and eucalyptus. So quite a bit, and it's very fresh, and I do smell the orange. It smells delicious. I feel like I want to take a bite of it. I Keto, you don't get fruit, you don't get sugar, you don't get carbs, and you start to want to eat candles. It's fine. We're fine. Um, so the next one I have is this really pretty one. It's a hot pink wax, and it's in hard candy. Hard candy is described with notes of sugar, watermelon, mint, orange, lemon, citrus, and passion fruit. And I smell watermelon and I love it, but it smells like watermelon lip smackers, watermelon candy. So um, I guess I can smell the lemon, the sugar, the passion fruit, the stronger notes. I don't quite smell mint, but let's see what happens when I burn. So then we have Sweet Rainbow, and that is this one. Yes, so Sweet Rainbow has a deep plum wax, and it is described as Notes of citrus, sugar, plum, orange, strawberry, lemon, watermelon, and passion fruit. And this one is quite different than hard candy. This one, I think I can smell more the plum, strawberry, and passion fruit. This one's very strong in the watermelon. But yeah, those will work together well, I think. And then we have um, pumpkin spice latte, which is orange. And I think I just picked these for colors too, but I also know that I love, mm, I love pumpkin spice lattes. I am your basic girl in the fall. So then the notes on this one are cinnamon, pumpkin, clove, nutmeg, cardamom, cake, coffee, sugar, cream, rum, butter, and tonka bean. How do you get all that in here? It smells good though, you guys. It smells like cinnamon. Um, I smell pumpkin. I can smell clove. Maybe a tiny bit of coffee. Um, sorry, my little notice thing went off of my phone. A tiny bit of coffee, but not bad. Um, it smells good. Not strong. That's, the coffee note's not strong in here, but maybe it will be burning. So then I have coffee cake therapy, which I think, yeah, oh yeah, this one. And it's kind of another plum brownish wax. And the notes are cinnamon, sugar, apple, raisin, vanilla, and butter. And I smell the butter and I can smell the vanilla and the sugar and the cinnamon. So those will, I got some that are kind of not similar necessarily, but just some that will uh, play nice together, I guess. And then, um, so Shauna sent the following ones just for me to try. These are her faves. So we, I think they're newer ones and I would have picked more. I just wanted to get a sampling. So um, the two that she sent me were in here and she labels everything on the box because it's not labeled on the tea light, but that way you kind of know. Um, so she sent me blueberry crumble and mustache ride. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that's what I said. This is adulting. So this is definitely, they've been together, so yeah, this is definitely blueberry crumble. I smell blueberry, but like a hint of cologne, so I was like, eh, very much make sure. So the blueberry is this light, bright blue wax, and it has notes of butter, sugar, blueberry, vanilla, and graham cracker. And I love it. I really like this one. I want this one like a full candle. The blueberry is strong, and then I can smell a little butter in the graham cracker. It smells really nice. And then finally, a mustache ride. Yeah, that's what she said. And it is a dark, very navy wax, very, very navy wax. And it has notes of marine, camphor, pineapple, lavender, bamboo, dark musk, amber, vetiver, cedar. Very nice men's cologne. That's what I smell. And uh, I like the notes in here. I can definitely smell the dark musk and the vetiver cedar. And I'm thinking the marine, but it smells like a nice men's cologne. So those are all the tea lights. And like I said, I'm going to come back and talk about how they burned, how they performed. I'm just sharing with you guys um, the notes while they all look pretty. Like I said, I'm going to burn them all the way down to the end. So then we have wax melts and I picked out a four pack called Vacation and then she sent one more. So we're going to go through real quickly because I'm sure this video is going to be so long. But like I said, it's so nice to highlight a small business. So Thank you guys for watching if you're still watching. Comment down below that you watched to this point. <laughs> so we're gonna go through these super quick. These are Tennessee Apple is one that I grabbed and the notes are apple, cinnamon, orange, bourbon, butter, coconut, maple, and vanilla. I mean, isn't that 
scent description just so full. It's not two things. It's not apple and cinnamon. It's like, you can just smell how sophisticated these smells are. They are complex and um, I can smell them cold that way. Like I said, I can't wait to get them burning and talk about the throw and everything. But yeah, I mean, I smell apple and cinnamon, but I can smell the bourbon and the maple. They're very strong in here. So I think this is gonna be a very fun one to melt. So like I said, I have a couple wax melters. I'm gonna just do my due diligence, due, due diligence and throw these in for a few days each and let you guys know. I mean, I wouldn't be able to come back for like six months if I were gonna do the whole pack. I don't seem to go through these as quickly as candles. They seem to last quite a bit of time. So then we have Mom Jeans I picked out, and that is notes of strawberry, guava, passion fruit, mango, vanilla, peach, sugar, lime, sea salt, ozone, orange, tequila, and agave. I mean, come on, listen, like that is a list, right? And this does smell like strawberry and guava, so good. Um, tequila, I mean, we're moms, mom jeans, you, you, you can hang, you can drink your tequila. So that one is so fun. And then I got mimosa again, like I picked out in the tea light, but I think I'm really, really like this one in the summer. So quickly the notes are orange, citrus, basil, orange peel, mint leaves, chamomile, agave nectar, tomato leaf, lemon mint, spearmint, and eucalyptus. So quite a bit of going on in here. The strongest though is definitely the orange and citrus. I love that. So that's gonna be nice. And then my last one was vacation. And that notes, these are the shortest ones. I was kind of curious about that. I was like, whoa, where's the list? This is mint, lime, pineapple, jasmine, and rum. And so not beachy. This does not smell beachy. If anything, it smells like going out that night, what you would smell, like your perfume and the drink you're drinking and the good smells mixing in the air. So maybe that's the jasmine, the mint, but the lime and the pineapple and the rum that it's not quite just a fruity drink scent, but it's kind of like not a beach scent. I don't want you to think like, this is what the beach smells like, or this is what Disney World smells like. This is more like what you want to do on vacation when you're adulting, right? And then she sent me Morning Wood, which I, <laughs> that's what she said. So this one I was interested in because of the scent notes. They are sandalwood, citrus, ben benzoin, cedar, amber, and dark musk. Sorry, I can't read, Shauna. Uh, <laughs> so this one smells very earthy. It's nice. It smells kind of like a men's cologne. I know, I'm looking for that hot man in a candle, right? And so I'm excited to try this one too. It smells really good. I really, really like that one. And then the very last thing, and so let me talk about, if I didn't share the price, I better just go back up and share the price. So the wax melts, you get to pick out six for 12. And there's a very low uh, threshold for free shipping. And then you got a four pack of the melts for 20. So you got four of these for 20. And then she sent me that extra one. And then the candle, which is the last thing that I have to share with you guys, is here. And it's the, um, I think there's some different ones. So I'll let you know which one I ordered. It is the uh, 20, this is $20 retail. It is the wood, there's a wood wick. It's, um, the scent I got is Nana's Banana Bread and it smells so good. I mean, I'm burning that one from Walmart and I can already tell you this one's way stronger, way stronger. So here's the wood wick in there. Um, it's after Friday, so I can now light it up, but my wick is a little short, so I don't know that I necessarily need to cut that, but I'm gonna just take a look at it. And I just can't wait to see what this does. I've never had a wood wick candle, so I think that experience will be kind of cool. And the notes on Nana's banana bread are banana, walnut, lemon peel, nutmeg, sugar, tonka bean, butter, and vanilla. And I really can smell butter. I can smell nutmeg and sugar and cinnamon. No, I can't smell cinnamon. I can smell butter, vanilla. I can smell the banana. I thought there was a cinnamon note, but that's probably nutmeg, I think. So I'm not smelling nut the, I'm not smelling tonka bean and I'm not smelling lemon. But I do have the allergies also. So I'll let you know when I burn these, how they do. So like I said, I'm going to spend a couple weeks burning these things. I'll come back. I'll look different. I'll have a different shirt on hopefully. Um, or else that's gross, right? Three weeks later. And I'm going to kind of wrap this video up telling you about how these products performed. And I'm just so excited. Like I said, I was really thankful to Shauna for, um, sharing with me about her company and 
I just don't think it's a bad idea to consider shopping small, maybe even local. There's probably local. Some of you guys probably have like more of a shopping area where there's some local businesses you can support. And I just think you should consider it if the price point's okay. This I all felt like was very good. I would not have gotten this much more from another like Scentsy or Bath and Body Works or something. So, um, and this is just, <clears throat> you know, a smaller team. Shauna, she might have some employees. I didn't ask that, um, you know, making everything handmade at the time you order it. So I thought that was pretty cool. But I will see you guys now and I'll be back. <laughs> Thank you, bye. Hey guys, I'm back and I'm back to talk about my full review of the Adulting Candle Company um, candles that I'm showcasing this month. So, and also I have another little box of goodies I want to share with you guys. But first, let's just go through everything I tried. How did it work? Did I like it? And we'll start with my favorite product and then we'll go down just and I'll give you all my thoughts. So, um, I tried the wax melts. I love them. They are the strongest, um, product in this line, um, of lineup of things that I picked out. So, um, Tennessee apple was so good. It's still going strong in my kitchen. I've had it burning in there for like a solid week every day. I can still smell all the notes. Um, we also did try morning wood, mom jeans and vacation. So I'll, I'll overall, every single one of these wax melts performed super well. Um, I'd say a strength of seven or eight out of 10, just depending on the scent. Um, and you know, it was an easy cleanup. Um, they're very emollient, so it's, um, they don't dry out. So it was really easy for me to just let them sit and then pop them out and I could toss them in the garbage. Um, and I will continue to buy the wax melts because I like them so much. And she usually has, I think for the most part, all of the scents in any of the type of, so like if you're interested in tea lights, you can get any of the scents. If you're interested in the soy candle, if you're interested in the melts, you can get it in any of the scents. So I think that's pretty awesome too. So I highly, highly recommend the wax melts. And like I said, you can get a pack of four for $20, um, which I think is a pretty decent price. And she lets you choose your scents. She has them kind of already set up in variety packs, but she's super cool to like just message on Etsy and you get to choose your scents. So that is awesome. I'm definitely gonna be purchasing more of those. Um, I really, really did like my candle and here's a little story time for you. So my, uh, wick just kind of died. Uh, it really kind of had trouble starting up. Um, and so I did, I mean, I, we, had, we had been talking and, uh, she wanted to just know like as a, as a customer, if I was happy with everything. And I said, I absolutely love the smell of this Nana's banana bread candle, but my wick kind of just died out. Like it lit initially, but it wouldn't stay lit for more than like an hour. Um, if I just left it alone. And so I did stick this on a candle warmer and it put off such a good throw, easily a seven out of 10 on a warmer. So I really, really do recommend these. And I know that's kind of what prompted Shauna to send me a new one because I was telling her how much I love the scents. I had already shared all the scent notes, so I didn't want to get this video to be like a hundred minutes long, but this candle did perform nicely in terms of, I really think I like soy wax candles. Um, these, this is like the second one I've tried and the other one was a fluke. I got it Ulta Beauty last month and they burn so clean. And yeah, I think you guys know what I'm talking about if you love candles. Um, it starts out nice and you do, you know, if you do your trimming of the wicks and you burn it for a long period of time so it can get that memory and, you know, pool correctly. I did not have to do any of that with this candle. It's just that the fruit, natural fruit wick didn't, stay lit. Um, and so she said that's happened like twice and all the time she's been making candles and she wanted to make it right. And I kept telling her, no, I was loving everything. I felt for what I paid, I got a really great experience, but she did decide to send me some stuff, which I'm going to share with you here pretty quickly. But the Nana, Nana's banana bread candle, I really think is a great thrower for a girl on scent. I, I could smell like the butter and the, it's, it smells like real bananas, not a candy banana, not like a drinky banana. I almost could like look in here and see banana. Um, it just, it smells exactly like the batter as you're pouring it into a pan, getting ready to bake it. And then when you light it up or put it on a warmer, it starts to cook. And so it's just such a real experience. I really did like the experience of this. Like I said, it, my, my wick didn't work, but I think that wood, the wood wick crackling experience would be such a fun part of it as well. So I can't wait to burn my other one, but I didn't want to wait and make this video like, you know, months apart. So, um, this one, 
you know, like I said, I'm going to continue to, it's the soy wax lasts longer. Also, I want to kind of point that out. So I've been using this every single day for two weeks and I still have over half the candle and I'm talking, putting it on the warmer. It's sitting on there for a couple of hours, three hours when I first started and it was lighting. Um, it, you know, it would be three hours and like I said, it just smelled like baked goods. <laughs> it smelled so good. You guys know I already love that. So I do recommend those candles. She has lots of different varieties too. This was just the one that I picked, but I really do. I'm really a big fan of the soy wax. I think that makes a big difference. It's a game changer. And then I also really did love my tea lights. I'm not, I've really never burnt them before. So, um, but they were pretty strong. I mean, I'm going to give them like a five out of 10, but I also have other things going, so I had to kind of keep that in mind. Did I have a wallflower plug, plug near it, um, you know, take that away, or this candle was pretty strong. These wax melts were strong, so I could smell them as well. Um, so I definitely don't think that they're not good. Um, they burnt really clean, and um, like I said, I could smell them when I was near them. But what I think these would be so fun for is a gift. She wraps this really like pretty with like a little bow and she's always puts the names I think on the back of um her packaging and then also the one she sent me just for like fun she sends I think out to everyone she told me she just always sends a couple samples just to give you more variety this is a fun way to try out the brand as a whole and it's inexpensive and like I said I got several hours of burn out of each of these tea lights so if you have some cute tea light holders the scents like student debt um mimosa hard candy, coffee cake therapy. I did go over all the scent notes. I I sat with a pen and paper to really give this a fair review and I would put down like what I could smell and I would go back to my the notes. I could really pick up like in the coffee cake therapy, you know, butter and um, coffee cake and like in the hard candy, I could smell it has strawberry, it has lemon. So you could pick out the notes. I thought they were really, really good, sophisticated scents. Um, I haven't used three of them. So I think I still have Sweet Rainbow, um, I'm not sure. I know I think I still have student debt, but I did also use up in this package, blueberry crumble and mustache ride. And this was, this mustache ride was like the best men's cologne. Like it beats out, um, mahogany teak wood from Bath and Body Works. It smells so good. I've already been like, yeah, I'm going to need that in a candle at some point. So I already kind of have some notes on some things that I would like to try again from the brand. Overall, like I said, I tried the melts. They performed well. My candle, the issue I had, she made right within a, two days. I mean, honestly, I was it was not because I was going to do this video. I had already kind of put out a review on her Etsy page, and she just said, no, I'm sending you another one. That's happened like twice, but I want to make it right. And I'm like, that's amazing. Amazing customer service. Um, I really love the story behind this brand. So this is just one, like I said, one of my... I love Bath & Body Works. I love Goose Creek. But one of my passions is to make sure that I'm also supporting small business. So if I can once a month just devote one of my purchases that I was going to make anyways to a company that's, you know, run by one person or has a, you know, a message. And I, I just really, I'm so glad that I picked Shauna's company to talk about because it really does. It has a great message. It uses great products. Um, everything is really thoughtfully put together. So like I said, down to the um, recycling and the packaging and you know, um, she sends you your products like this so you can repurpose it. This is my new candle. Um, so I'm already jumping into this. I'm just continuing to ramble. But she sent me this and she cured it. She made sure that it was like 100% cured and ready to go. So this wick's, this wick's gonna work. And so I have a new Nana's Banana Candle and it really smells good, you guys. I'm so glad I picked this one because I like this scent a lot. So in this package, she sent me just another little goodie box, just thanking me for doing this video. She wanted my opinion to be 100% honest. She says that she uses it, the feedback to make her products better. So I think that when people are open to that feedback, I mean, she wasn't gonna send me anything either way. So um, I really appreciate this though, Sean. I know you're gonna watch this video and I really appreciate everything. Um, I really love the products. They were really good quality. I could tell the difference um, between these products and something I would just go pull off the shelf at Walmart. And then, so she sent me another candle. She says this is one of her favorites and it's in October. So yay, I love, that's one of my favorite times of year to burn candles is the fall. So, oh, you guys, it smells good. It's got like red wax and one of those nice wood wicks. And I can smell like leaves, but also like apple cinnamon. And I didn't even look up the notes on this one yet. I should. 
Yeah, and it's it's just got that like autumn vibes going through this candle. So I can't wait to keep this and burn it in the fall. And I'm definitely gonna put that other Nana's Banana Red back on my warmer as soon as I get done with this video because I love it so much. And then this is like too much. This one, Shona, I was literally like, I can't believe she sent me this. She sent me this cool thing. And like I said, everything else came so well packaged, but I didn't order anything that looked like this. So I went to open it and I was like, what? It is a USB lighter. I've never had anything like it. So it's for lighting candles or anything, but look at how cool this is. And it comes with a charger. So now I have a fancy candle lighter and I really, really appreciate it. Like this was so exciting. So yeah, that is my package. Like I said, just, she sent me a new candle because it was like a one in a, I don't know, 1% chance of happening and that my wick wouldn't work, but it still smelled great on a warmer and we have to do that with any candle company. But um, her customer service is something I've never actually experienced before. I've ordered something from Etsy at the same time I ordered, the, ordered these candles. It came two weeks later and I didn't get any response from the seller. And I just know that customer service is such a big part of a small business. It is what sets them apart from those big stores. And yet I could message Shauna and I would get a response within like an hour. And I'm like, oh, I feel like a bother. She, I just wanted to know more about her company and she was really happy to share it. So I just can tell a difference of with those people out there that are selling products because that's what they want to do with their life on selling products because you know, that's something they have like a machine to create fancy signs. But I just really appreciate everything that she shared with me. I'm gonna continue to support Adulting Candle Company. They have a lot of fun products, a lot of giftable items. They have a whole section of things I didn't even go through yet um, so that I just don't know much about, the crystals and the stones, but they look super cool. So if you're into any of that, I'm gonna leave her socials in the description box just head over to her channel and give, you know, give it a peek. And Instagram, she posts when she has sales, she posts those time-lapse videos. Just go over there and give her some love too. Cause again, if you're just following her and um, liking stuff that gives her engagement as well. But um, I really, I mean, I just encourage you that if you have the means to shop small and shop local and support some of these businesses that kept going through what was, the worst thing ever of 2020 and just has the best spirit, the best attitude. And I'm happy to support a, a company like this. So thank you to Shauna. Go check out Adulting Candle Company. I really has, was happy with everything that I got and I will see you guys in a video tomorrow. Thanks. Bye.